Hi, we're going to talk about generating our first app with Jumpstart. So Jumpstart is a code generating program. You can generate code in applications at the click of a button. And it's useful because companies will create a lot of different files in their operations and sometimes the interfaces must be created to manage that data. You don't want to just do star SQL and uh, send a bunch of SQL statements to manage the data. You'd want to have an application. So Jumpstart can generate the applications for you saving you time and money from the developers having to write the same logic and user interface from scratch over and over. So we're going to see how to go from this sort of interface to this sort of interface where you can view all the records and actually edit them and remove them. So let's click over here to our Jumpstart interface. First thing you see is a way to enter a lot of parameters. So the default application type is just a subfile, which is what we see here, where you can a file maintenance program where you can view records and edit and delete and add them. And the default language is RPG, and we're just going to use that today. And there are different templates that you can use, but we'll just go with the default. So all you really need to do to get started is to enter the physical file. So um, put in your library list here so the Jumpstart knows where the file is and then type in the file the file name. You can type in a title if you want. I'm just going to type something quickly. So now you just click this button, retrieve fields, it's talked to the server and gotten information about the file. Um, you, for our basic application we don't really need to worry about this next these next boxes here. We just want to generate our program quickly. So in this last box, this is we're telling the application where we are going to send this program. So we're going to send it to my library. And I'm going to name it uh, with a, a library file name. And since I'm also generating source code for this, I need to specif specify the source member, the RPG program that's being generated, and the display file that's being generated. And we'll, um, we're not just generating an application, we're generating source code. I'll address why that is, or what we can do with that later. So I'll click Generate. Okay, seven seconds, not bad. And now we can call let me make sure my library list is set up. So I've got my name and my library and the profound UI library, the instance. So now I can call the program I just generated. And there it is. So the default application, like I said, is a subfile. You can view all the data in the file. You can click on each record and view more. Or you can edit the each record or you could delete a record. And you can also do searches and and that's about it. Like I said uh, earlier, we're generating some source code, the RPG source and the display file source. So you're, if you need to, this can just be the starting point for your application. You can just start out and have like a functional, just edit one file and you could add more things onto it. And since you have the source code, you can do that. You're not limited to just file maintenance. You can set up t your own types of templates and decide all sorts of different types of programs you want to generate. So that's it. Thanks for watching.